Hey guys, uh, just thought I'd take a look at the new extended magazine release for the Die Dam from Calvert Creative Solutions. Uh, this is really cool. This is a product made by uh, fellow ball, uh, paintballers uh, here in Ontario. They're actually members of the OPVA, Elizabeth Stewart and uh, Doug Calvert, hence Calvert Creative. Uh, they've I've, wor I've worked with them uh, to develop a really cool uh, upgrade accessory to your uh, die dam. Uh, it's an extended magazine release, offers a way more real estate uh, to your marker. They have multiple colors uh, and it just adds a little bit of that unique style and flair to your marker and allows you to customize your marker to how you want it. Uh, they have red, gold, olive drab, black, uh, glow in the dark, which is really cool. Um, yeah, so I'm going to bring you guys in. We'll take a look at the colors and how to put it all together. All right, so before we get started, I want to go through the colors. So right here on your, your left, I guess, my right, we have the olive drab green. Then we have the glow in the dark. Uh, I'll show a clip of these... Uh, right now uh, these are actually really cool I like as you can see in the footage that they're not a consistent glow all the way through they actually have little flecks in them as you can see here they're actually kind of like little constellations and what those are those are little pieces of uh, glow-in-the-dark glass uh, these ones are gonna be a little bit more expensive so the reason the glow-in-the-dark tabs are a little bit more expensive is because that glass acts kind of like an abrasive and uh, wears down the machine a little bit faster than any of the other colors so you're going to be paying a little bit more. I however think that it is highly worth it. Uh, this is going to be really cool when I go to use it for night games. Uh, we have gold Right here we have uh, desert tan, black, and then we have red right here at the end. The red I think is really sharp. It's kind of gives it a little bit of a uh, ejection button kind of look, like press here to inject ma uh, to eject mag, which I think is really cool. Um, and then we have right here this is the bar the uh, the bar. Uh, this is uh, modular to all of these different panels. Uh, you can see there's just a screw in either end. You can see that, All right? So you don't you don't need to get a new bar uh, every time you order one. Uh, you could theoretically uh, just order the panels. Now this is pre-release right now. As I'm recording this, this these are actually all prototype parts, uh, but. Let's get started on how to remove your stock uh, release and how to install these guys. All right, so first off, actually no, first off, you wanna get your tools together first, all right? So all you're gonna need, uh, an Allen key set, I have this Mastercraft set of ball end uh, Allen keys. So you need those and you're going to need some grease. I just have my uh, Field One uh, Pro Loop here. So that's what I'm going to use. So first off, you want to take your, I think it's a 1 16th wrench. Inject your toolkit. I'm not going to need that. Set that aside. And then take this and undo the screw and drop it all over the place, of course. And just set that aside. Set that right there. And get this freaking screw off, I'll set that there. And then you're not gonna need that Allen key again. Now what I usually do to push it out is I'll take my 532nd, because it's just about the right size. I have it taped, because that's the one I use for my mask camera. Slide these to the side, and you're going to reach in here, and if I can get a light on it, 
you'll be able to see there's a little that's your mag catch right there yeah you can see it so you're gonna want to push on that push that into the side of the, and you'll notice that mag release there will move out of the way and then just push it with your allen key and there you go your old mag release is removed now i've had this in and out a couple times so it's already it's covered in goopy grease uh, here i want to set it like that uh and then you take this you're gonna take your screws it's actually really simple to do this take your screws out don't lose them and you're just going to take a little bit of grease, like a fingertip, and you're just going to put a little bit on there, right on that notch. Right, you want to make sure you get it in that notch, and over the rest of the, just kind of cover the bar. Uh, a lot of these, this is the only time you'll have to do this. Uh, because of the nature of the material, aluminum and uh, and the Dalrin, it doesn't really slide over each other. But once you get a little bit of grease in there, like I said, you won't ever have to take this apart and do it again. It's the, with that amount of grease on there. With, probably this is overkill, actually. Uh, it'll work just fine for the foreseeable future. So you're gonna press on, press on that mag release or that mag catch, sorry, and you're just gonna slide your mag release in, and boom. So now your mag release is in. Set your Allen key aside. Clean your fingers off. And yes, I'm using TP. I don't want to buy Kleenex. It's a friggin' ripoff. All right, and then. You take your side panels. I'm going to use these olive drab because they match the accessories that I'm putting on my dam. I'm kind of going for a woodland com color scheme, woodland camel color scheme. Uh, I probably, uh, for night games at Pierre's Ed, will, will end up using these, uh, these glow-in-the-dark ones as well. And the red ones are really sharp, so... Out. This is going to be the first time. That's one of the good, th cool things about this is it's kind of modular like that. All right, so you put your panel on, start the screw, and then I believe this one is a is a five sixty four. I think. Let's find out together, shall we? Come on, there you go. Er. Yeah, 564. And then you're just gonna snug that up. Hold your panel while you're doing it. And then there you go. And then you just do the same on the other side. You're gonna wanna be careful because these are shaped to fill in this space completely. It is possible to put them in, in upside down or backwards. So just pay attention. <clears throat> this slope is gonna match your mag well. This vertical section and then this curved part is going to match the bottom of your trigger frame. It kind of just fills in the whole whole area uh, between your mag well and your trigger, which is great. You now have all of this massive amount of real estate. Just going to set that down. Two. Eject your magazine. And it looks super sharp. Like I really liked how that looks. It matches the the lines and the styling of the die dam really well. It uh, the the base color is black. Like every other part of a die dam is black, and then they just changed this, right? So if you have a olive drab die dam, then you know it's going to be black with green accents, like your marker. Uh, as far as how it performs, I have just a 10 round magazine here. So stick that in, locks in, no problem actually, and ejects really well. Comes right out. <clears throat> Both sides. 
works. I, actually, in my opinion, a little bit better than the uh, the stock mag release. My humble opinion. Uh, as far as how it works with a box rotor, I have one of those here. This is what I'm going to be using most of the time. Just because I only have two 10 round mags right now. Locks on. Comes off. So it will still, even though it's a little bit bigger, and you might be worried that that increased size, you can see it doesn't really, uh, hopefully, here. you can see it doesn't really uh, locked up. Yeah, right there. You can see it doesn't really get blocked up. It's not blocked by anything. It still clears the, uh, the side of the mat, uh, box mag, so comes right off. Still works with your box mag. Still works really well with your magazines. Uh, it's a stylish up, really stylish upgrade. Uh, I really like it. Go pick up yours. Uh, Calvert Creative Solutions. Uh, they'll be about twenty dollars, I think.